Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Ninth Cup, where all of my readings focus on your soul's destiny and everything you can do to embody your soul's purpose. So this is going to be a general reading for North Node, South Node, and Pisces and Virgo. If you're North or South Node or in either Pisces or Virgo, this reading is for you. It is general, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. For those of you who are current subscribers, thank you so much for joining me, sharing your energy with me. I appreciate it. And for those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Karen Michelle Yearwood. I'm an intuitive guidance counselor, and I help people like yourself along the Ascension journey. So for those of you who are still getting used to the aspects in your natal charts, the North Node in particular is about our Dharma and this human experience, the work we're here to do. It could be surrounding obstacles, challenges, limitations, and fears. It is things that are unknown or unfamiliar to us, but it is what makes us the most impactful while we're here in this human experience. Now, the South Node, which is opposite to that, is what we do innately well. It is our gifts and talents that we bring over from past lives. And um, yeah, it's just where we kind of, you know, our tendencies, like we lean towards certain behaviors or, you know, thought patterns. And um, yeah, it's, it's what we um, are comfortable doing. It's our comfort zone. So for this reading, I am going to start with a few astrology cards from the astrology um, oracle deck astrology reading cards and then i'll do um, two cards i'm doing these readings a little bit differently this time i'm doing two cards for constrictive energies or elements and two cards for expansive elements and then we'll wrap up with a few more oracles from the um, life purpose oracle deck by doreen virtue so pisces virgo um, this is an interesting uh, access energy for me. Um, Pisces is a beautiful water sign ruled by, um, well, traditionally ruled by Jupiter. Modern ruler is Neptune and Virgo is ruled by Mercury. Very opposite signs, very opposite energies. But I do think Virgo is the most intuitive of the earth signs. So high intuition here. And I think much of what you do, you're called to be um, you're called to use your intuition or your intuition is probably what is guiding you and leading you if it's in your south node, right? The Pisces energy. So just kind of apply it how it resonates. Um, the reading isn't health specific. So just apply it again to what resonates for you at the time that you're viewing this reading. We have the fourth house. So some of you could have your north node or south node in the fourth house, which would mean, you know, you're on that 10th house, fourth house access, which is, you know, um, well, fourth house is all about home, family, heritage. Tenth house is more external persona, reputation, our careers, professions. We have Neptune. There we go. Modern ruler of Pisces here. So Neptunian energy is coming in, really channeling from your subconscious mind, um, going into the dream world. And then we have Aries. Beautiful. So Aries energy, fire energy ruled by Mars about action, um, energy, it's masculine energy, it's about taking initiative, it's very impulsive, but Aries is about leadership too. So some of you could be taking on leadership positions at this time, or you could be the leader of your household, right? Wherever you are, um, wh whatever you consider home, I should say, not necessarily blood relatives, but whatever your home is, you could be taking on some initiatives or tasks or, you know, leading a new um, endeavor in some way the neptunian energy is again maybe your manifestations this i'm getting is more personal more internal not necessarily external facing the aries energy i'm getting is more external facing in terms of how you um, interface with other people your relationships the fourth house again um, is the um the the scenery the, the location like where in your life this is happening bottom of the deck is scorpio and we have the south node transiting through the sign of scorpio right now north node is in taurus so some of you could have strong Scorpio placements in your chart, strong Aries. Um, Scorpio is a fellow water sign to Pisces. Scorpio is ruled by Mars, well, traditionally ruled by Mars. Modern ruler is Pluto. So there's some deep work going on, I think, internally with healing. Could be shadow work. Could be just, you know, clearing out house. That could be literally or, um, again, figuratively, internally, clearing out anything that could be getting in the way of you making progress going forward, whatever's getting in the way of this Aries energy, right? The action, there could be some um, limiting beliefs, right? Imposter syndrome, those kinds of things could be coming up at this time. But this is really beautiful energy because I think what's happening in the cosmos as I'm recording this on May 27th, 
We have Mercury retrograde, we have Mars in Aries, um, Pluto retrograde and Saturn retrograde. So, you know, with retrogrades, it's always a great time to go back and revise and rethink and reclaim and do things again. Um, I think it's a great time to really close things out as well. Um, so again, I think as far as healing and kind of clearing the plate, clearing your slate, however you want to see it, um, I think the energies right now are really great for that. Um, we also have Venus in Aries as well. And I think Jupiter, I believe Jupiter is already in Aries. They haven't conjoined yet. Mars and Jupiter have not conjoined yet as I'm recording this, but they are in the sign of Aries. So there's this great energy of like taking on like new belief systems or, you know, what you, um, what you really value, right? What, what you think is honorable. Those are some themes that could be coming up for you as well. Not necessarily the meaning of the cards, but I'm channeling intuitively um, along with whatever transits are happening when I'm recording. I do try to make the readings as timeless as possible, but you know, these good old planets of ours have some strong influences sometimes. So I am using um, True Heart Tarot Deck by Rachel True for your, um, your tarot reading. So what is constricted right now? What elements are constricted right now for Pisces Virgo? We have the Ace of Discs, which is the Ace of Pentacles in this deck. And what else? Queen of Discs. So Pentacles energy is in the constrictive energy. So this could be a chance to heal maybe money wounds, heal um, healing around self-worth as well. Pentacles for me is that, you know, how you value yourself, um, self-worth really, you know, believing in what you are worth or what you have to offer. There could be some new opportunities coming up, but again, like what I mentioned a moment ago about imposter syndrome, you might be fearful about taking on new opportunities, about taking on leadership roles, or just kind of, um, if it's not necessarily a, a technical or like a um, official leadership role, then it could just be, you know, speaking up, right? Being the person to be the one who changes the way things are done, right? If it's a family thing, if it's a lineage thing, changing, like, you know, breaking generational curses, that kind of thing, really setting yourself apart in terms of how your familial behaviors have happened over generations. And that could mean a lot of different things. Again, apply it to how it resonates. Um, with this, you know, both cards being pentacles, I think it's, you know, really setting the, the stage or like, putting your foot down in terms of what you desire, what you want to manifest, what your worth is, and what you believe um, is available to you, like what you believe you you are worth and what you um, desire, like really believing that um, things, certain things are available to you. For example, this is just an example, um, maybe your family was always at a certain income level and you believe that you can go you can surpass that right maybe you believe that you can you know maybe own a home if you're no one in your family have, has ever owned a home or maybe they've never owned um a single family home maybe it's always been a town home or something like that or a home in a certain area and you think that you can surpass that and it's not out of ego it's just out of again belief of your value and your worth and going the distance here right aries energy making moves like literally taking initiative striking out on a new path so I think this is coming up in the constrictive energy because this is what spirit is saying that you have the ability and the power to change now. So it's really beautiful. So what's in the expansive energy? Ooh, the sun, beautiful. This is the image. The sun, card of Leo. That could be a time marker. Something could be coming in during Leo season. What else? And the four of wands, I love it. Oh, the four of wands is like the marriage card, but it's also the happy home card. So some of you could be moving, could be purchasing a home or upgrading your, the home that you're currently in, um, investing more in your home, just making changes to like wherever you are like firmly rooted. And then the, at the bottom is the nine of discs, nine of pentacles. So being fully um, secure in your own resources, your ability to provide for yourself, knowing that you have enough for what is needed and what is you know required of you as, a, as an adult, right, an independent person. And for your family even, if you have your own family, so the sun and the four of wands is total healing and happiness and abundance. It's success. Um, it's celebrating as well. So it's celebrating something that maybe have has been challenging for you. So a part of your north node, south node dynamic right now for you, Pisces Virgo, could be, you know, going into this new spate of new space, excuse me, of like manifestations and and success. So really mirroring 
like what's in the 3d like what you're experiencing in your day-to-day -day with like your beliefs and your dreams like literally like what you're dreaming and bringing in calling in from higher power from spirit is like you're seeing it now in the physical so you're seeing maybe more money you're seeing um the, the possibility or the opportunities to own property or to move or to have a new job whatever it is and it's really increasing your own sense of security your own um self-confidence i love this for you this is beautiful so let's see what our life purpose oracles cards have to wrap up our reading my links are down below if you'd like a personal reading i do a tarot spread as well as an aura scan in those readings for your astrology chart i can look at solar return progressed or your natal chart so they're all inclusive we have support your life support fully supports you. I'm sorry, your life purpose fully supports you. Absolutely. Maybe um, some of you have doubted what you do for a living, but whether or not it be lucrative. Sensitivity. You're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. So some of you are tapping into this North Node. Many of you may have your North Node in Pisces. I'm getting that. Um, yeah. So you're really starting to really hone in on that Piscean energy. And then counseling. You heal with kind words, wise advice, and an empathetic ear. Yeah, that's Pisces, Piscean energy as well. Yeah, and Pisces is also very creative too. You're on the right path at the bottom of the deck. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. So there's your message from spirit. All right. If something here resonates, please like the video. Comment below. Let me know some of your other placements. And if this is your kind of thing, please subscribe. Um, if you have not already, and I do hope to see you in the next reading and be sure to thrive. Bye.